Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous videos, we covered how we can implement push notifications in Flutter using Firebase Cloud Messaging. And also we covered how we can send these notifications using API calls. And in that video, we added a button, uh, which is when tapped, it sends notification to an other device. And now in this video, we will cover how we can handle foreground notifications. Because in Flutter, by default, when you send a notification and your app is in foreground, so the notification is receive but it is not shown on the app that's what we will handle which is the default behavior so before any further delay let's get started there is a package known as flutter local notifications and we will use this flutter local notifications package to receive those notification and show it on the screen even if the app is in foreground so the default notification won't show up on the foreground here but with this, with the help of this package, we will be able to catch that notification and show an other notification in order to handle this foreground work. And uh, let's get started with that work. Uh, first of all, we will need this package and that is Flutter local notifications. You can get it from PubDev and if you have this setup just from here, it will add this notification package and pubspec.yaml file. And once we have this package with us then we can easily handle the foreground notification it has been added here now uh, i will go to the home screen and you can see uh, we are targeting a device with fcm token and we are sending push notification to that device with title and body uh, if i go to a notification service here i need to handle the local notification but before that we need to do some configurations if we come here to local notification these are the features it supports and down we will also have this setup for android and ios so it gives you some screenshot of how it will look like and uh, down below we have android setup here so the important part is this android manifest.xml setup and you can leave these things here it says post notification permission to be added for that i have uh, saved this notification permission that you can uh, have a look at from here and i will just uh, copy it and now I need to find android manifest.xml and here I need to add this permission so I have added this permission that is necessary for uh, these notification and I will hit save and we have the android manifest work being done we may need some additional permissions as well but uh, let's see if we need those and now uh, we have the plugin added now we can create an instance of that plugin which is flutter local notification plugin and i will just import it because i have the plugin installed this is flutter local notifications plugin and now using this we can uh, do the initialization just like we initialize this firebase messaging uh, and now we will also initialize this local notifications as well so here to like differentiate these uh, listeners this is the foreground notification listener right which is this on message and this is when the app is in background and uh, when app is in uh, background and the notification is like tapped and the app is open this is uh, such a notification handler background notification listener right we also have one other that we have like declared here in the main which is this on background handler so what does this uh, background handler does it actually when your app is terminated your app isn't open either in foreground or background it's terminated then this is the listener that listens to notifications right so now i will go back to the notification service and here i need to initialize that so we have uh, the permissions we have the fcm token uh, here with us so uh, now here uh, we can also like uh, get these uh, get the result from this request permission which is permission we can print the permission if permission dot authorized status denied then we need to just throw an exception else we will go to the getting the token right because it doesn't make any sense to get the token once uh, we don't have the permission so if it's denied so we don't need it right if it's permitted we can go ahead with fcm token and now we have registered these uh, notification listeners for background and foreground right so once a notification is sent from firebase and we are on we are in the 
sorry uh, we don't need this background here this is not the background this is the terminated state listener uh, here uh, you can see once a notification is sent from the firebase uh, and our app is in foreground like just like we have it in the foreground now so this is the listener that will be called this callback will be executed right it is executed but it doesn't show the notification so we will need to show it here using the local notifications uh, flutter local, local notifications plugin right so for that uh, we need to initialize it after this line right so here we will initial do the initialization for initialization i have like commented the code with myself because it's difficult to remember this code so this is the code i will just copy it from here and will directly paste it here after these listeners are registered then we can do the initialization for local notifications so i will just uncomment these lines so here we have the android initialization settings and we pass this string this string represents uh, your app icon or logo just like if uh, the icon with which your app is shown on play store or anything right so this represents your logo so this logo will be sent with the notification right and then we have the initialization setting uh, object and we are passing this android initialization setting here right since ios is not part of the scope we will be focusing on android only so we have created this android initialization and then we have passed it to the initialization settings right so we have the initializations here and now we can use this flutter local plugin notification and we can call this initialize this will initialize this plugin right so uh, we created this configuration for initialization and then we have passed this configuration into the flutter local notification plugin initialize method right so this will initialize our setting for android and here we have these two callbacks these are the callbacks like when your notification is tapped so the code inside this callback will be executed so we can like add something like this and here it will be uh, notification details you can see when the notification uh, we receive notification and it's tapped so this is going to be executed when background is issued and it is tapped so this is going to be called this method will get executed right so these are these uh, callbacks where you can handle taps on the notifications and that's in case of the local notification right and not the other uh, notification if you have you are showing local notifications then these are going to be like when you are in the foreground and a notification pops up here in that case when you tap on this notification in foreground only then the taps will be like handled by these callbacks so uh, for th for these callbacks what i can do is that i can just create uh, callbacks outside i've already uh, have the code so i'll just uncomment it and here i can handle all these things like navigating to a screen when notification is tapped so these are the two callbacks i will just use these two callbacks uh, in that place uh, which is here so i will just remove it and i will use those uh, callbacks that we have created and that is on on did receive notification and the other one right so we can just create it outside to make the code clean and here we can handle the taps right when it's tapped we will receive the notification details so if we have some we can just print these details as well on the screen so that's how we extract these uh, details out of the foreground notification like there may be a payload there uh, and that payload may include something like uh, the path or uh, the route for like chat screen like if uh, there's a message received to a user and he's received a he receives a notification so once he taps the notification that notification contains the path to chat screen in your app like the root name so you can from the root name you can like uh, hit uh, you can like enter navigator that push and go to that route so once he taps notification he will be directed to that chat screen instead of the main home page of the screen so that's what uh, is handled here on in these tabs but uh, remember these are for the foreground notifications only not the other notifications uh, that lies out of the foreground scope right and this local notification plugin now here we need to create a local notification plugin we have 
uh, configure the initialization setting for Android, then we have created general initialization setting, then we have initialized the plugin with this initialization setting, and also we have registered these callbacks to handle tabs on foreground messages. Now we have this to create a notification channel for uh, them to work. This channel will handle like you receive a notification and then that notification will be channeled to the local uh, plugin and that will show he here the notification on the screen right so to create these local notifications i have this uh, commented code here so this is the method that will create us the notification channel and i will just cut it from here and i will paste it below this one so now if I uncomment the code, so this is our create local notification channel method. What it does, it creates an Android notification channel and it passes some of these parameters like ID, name, etc., description and the importance of this notification. So uh, these are passed here and importance set to high so that the notification is like always received, right? So uh, it adds the importance to it. So this is very important channel and once we have uh, notification received on this channel it needs to be shown to them because the importance is really high so it will just create us this notification channel for for these local notification to work you will need a channel and with the help of that channel you will be able to receive a notification and you will like uh, be able to send it again to show it on the foreground uh, through this channel right and then you have the plugin resolve platform implementations and create notification channel right so uh, this is like android notification channel and with the help of that you, you are creating an actual channel here which is this create notification channel and that's like the channel details right so with this method you can create the channel so once you have the android initialization settings and plugin being initialized after that you can create a channel for flutter local notifications once you have the channel ready you can now send notification so once i call this init fcm so it will take permission as we take already then it will like check the authorization status if not denied take fcm token of the device once we have the device token you can uh, you will also register these notification handlers that will handle notification catch the notification and then you have set up this local notification setting right it creates the channel and do all the stuff now you have the uh, when we call this init FCM, so all these lines of code will execute it and our initialization will be completed for both the normal Firebase messaging and the local notifications, right? So now, uh, how do we receive this message in the foreground? So uh, here you can see this own message listener. So it catches these foreground notification, right? And once it catches it, it is returned in the form of this remote message, right? So once we have it received, it won't show by default. So here we need to call this local notification plugin to show the, the notification because by default it doesn't show it catches the data, but it doesn't show it. So here what we need to do is that we will use the local notification plugin to show notification that is catched here in, uh, in this own message stream. So for that, I have the already written code here and I will just copy it from here and let's paste it. Uh, where will we paste it we will paste it in this handler on message handler right so here what I will do I will just paste this code uncomment this so what will it does it will catches the notification but it won't show it so once uh, it doesn't show it we need some local notification plugin to handle it so we are getting the details from here and we are passing these details and we are using the local notification plugins to show it because the default won't show it we will use this plugin to show it the low which is the local notification plugin right so what it what it does it 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 behaves in a way like it catches the notification but since it cannot show it we just pass it to the local notification channel and it uses the device local notification api um, and to trigger that notification right so we have all the details here and we get we have the remote message that is the message received from firebase and we get the notification from it then we have the we get the android related notification and if it's not null and android is not null which means we have it for android then just show a local notification right 
so uh, we pass this id uh, and this hash code gives you an like an integer right that is unique for every type of object so it will be the id because id needs to be unique then you pass the title that has been added from the firebase similarly the body and then you have the notification details this is like the um, notification or channel details right this is the channel id etc and channel name and then description so we are using the same channel that we created earlier for receiving this notification so uh, we have it ready i think we can test it now so i will just uh, stop this build because we have added a new plugin so we need to like uh, uh, build the app again in order for it to work so i will hit command function f5 you can run it in your own way on windows and it will build well we run into an issue during the build and we have missed some configuration which i have now added here this is the uh, flag that we need to set to true here in compile options we are in the android folder and then we are in the app and in app we have this build.gradle file here in the compile option i need to add this flag set to true and also i have to add this dependencies if your project doesn't have this this dependencies block you can just add it here entire block and you need to enter this line of line here right so you need to add this thing here and similarly uh, this one as well so once you have this dependencies if you have it already then you just need to just add this line if not you need to add an entire block here and similarly uh, in the compile option you need to add this now i will hit flutter clean and flutter run to make everything in sync and check it so uh, here i have the command flutter clean and flutter run so i will hit enter to see what happens and you can see here the app has been built successfully now and now we can uh, check the functionality so uh, here we will restart and the main function we have this uh, what is called init fcm and it takes permission so all these things need to be printed here to the console right and once it's done we will also print this fcm token here and that we will use to send notification to this one and here it will catch the foreground message and show it using the local notification plugin so that it is not missed out so uh, let me restart the app and you can see we have the fcm token here uh, and uh, we, i just need to copy this fcm token from here i will go to this push notification and here i need to just add test and we are testing that's the notification body and then we also need to add other details like target what are we targeting the app is going to be the android push notifications right and we will say next it needs to be now or now if we go back to target uh, sorry notification here we can send test message so this was the previous token that we used we will just add another fcm token that we just got from the device and i will test it to see if we receive a notification here you can see it's now shown on the foreground the app is in foreground and still we are able to see this notification so that's because uh, notification by default the notification isn't shown on the foreground when you are in the foreground when you are in the background so it is shown and when you're in foreground it doesn't show that's because the default behavior of this uh, uh, system right so you can handle it uh, like indirectly in this own message you receive this thing right which is the message details notification details so once you receive it it since it will not show it so you need to use this local notification plugin to take the details and resend another notification so that it appears on the foreground so that's how it's done it's like indirect way to show these foreground a notification as the default behavior won't so that's how these foreground notifications are like handled and shown in the app so that was it for today's video guys in the upcoming videos we will make some more advanced videos on these notification stay tuned see you in the next videos goodbye